Hey guys, I'm Bailey, um, and I'm going to talk to you guys about vegetarianism today. All right. Well, vegetarianism has actually been on the rise, according to Vegetarian Times. So according to Vegetarian Times, 3.2% of all U.S. citizens follow a vegetarian-based diet. 0.5% follow a vegan-based diet, and an additional 10% largely follow a vegetarian-inclined diet, or are what we call flexitarians. That's about 30 million people altogether. Where there are many different personal reasons why people might choose vegetarianism as a lifestyle, I'm going to focus on three. Um, vegetarianism can be a lifestyle that might be right for anyone. There are many stereotypes of, about vegetarians. Um, but there are also a lot of great reasons behind the lifestyle change. For the past three years, I've actually practiced what we call flexitarianism. Um, and as Urban Dictionary would define flexitarianism, it's an omnivore who predominantly maintains a plant-based diet, but also continues to eat small amounts of meat. Um, I don't eat very much meat. I eat um, no red meat, and the meat that I do eat, I make sure it's all organic and free range. But anyway, um, so I'm going to explain to you guys the three reasons why people might practice vegetarianism. First, it's for health purposes. Um, another reason is for animal rights and environmental reasons. It's a common misconception that people who are vegetarians have poor health due to lack of protein. There are so many awesome ways to get protein that are not meat-based. Dietitian Sarah Hahn and health educator Nicole Nichols so that the best sources of protein come from nuts, seeds, soy, beans, grains, dairy, and eggs for non-vegans, dairy and eggs. But yeah, those are all awesome sources of protein. Um, and vegetarians typically have healthier colons and lower cholesterol than that of meat eaters. Helen Anderson of Liv the Livestrong Foundation stated that red meat is, rich, is a rich source of protein, vitamin B12, and essential nutrients. However, its nutritional benefits are offset by its high contents of cholesterol and saturated fat. Meat is also more difficult for the body to digest. It takes about double the time for our body to break down, for example, a piece of steak than it would for us to break down a carrot or a lettuce. Um, the meat that doesn't get broken down often gets stuck in our colon and it makes our colon work harder. Um, so people who eat mostly vegetarian-based diets have a healthier colon. Some choose vegetarianism as a stance on animal cruelty. Many people are uninformed of where meat actually comes from and how it's produced. Um, in the meat industry, there are no red barns or rolling hills and green grass, which is what people like to think of where their meat comes from. Um, it's actually a lot darker than that. Commercially raised meat is produced on what we call CAFOs, which are concentrated animal feeding operations. And in these CAFOs, cows, pigs, chickens, and turkeys are packed really tightly together in sheds that have barely enough room for them to turn around. And a lot of the times these sheds don't even have windows. Um, these animals are horribly uncomfortable and a lot of times they don't even live to see the light of day. Um, Exposed in the documentary film Food Inc., which I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, but um, if not, you should really check it out. It's a great film, really informative. A <laughs> little bit can make you a little squeamish, but it's really good. But director, director Robert Keener uncovered um, the horrors of the meat production industry. He exposes that animals are taken off of their naturally grass-based diets and fed corn-based diets that are full of antibiotics and chemicals to keep the animals healthy. Um, what this really does is it just causes stress on the animals. They can't digest corn. Um, animals, well, like most animals, like cows, um, their bodies are designed to eat grass, and they're fed these corn-based diets because corn's a lot cheaper. And chickens are actually fed growth hormones which cause them to grow so fast and out of control that they can no longer support themselves with their own two feet so a lot of the times chickens end up breaking their legs and um, they spend their whole life sitting in their own feces it's awful um, PETA which most of you heard of people for ethical treatment of animals 
reveals that animals have their throats slit. That's often how they're killed. Um, and a lot of the times they're still conscious when they're put through scalding hot water baths to remove hair and feathers. And they're often still conscious when they're being skinned or dismembered. Not only are CAFOs extremely horrible for animals, they're also really bad for the environment. Which leads me to my third point as to why someone might choose a vegetarian lifestyle because it's good for the environment. Herbivores tend to have a much smaller carbon footprint than that of meat eaters. If the production of meat stopped today, we would have a much healthier planet. PETA stated in a report published by the World Watch Institute um, that a staggering 51% or more of all global greenhouse gas emissions are caused by animal agriculture. Another study um, done by researchers at the University of Chicago found that switching from a standard American diet to a vegan diet is more effective in the fight against climate change than switching from a standard American car to a hybrid. Animal agriculture is one of the top producers of water pollution too. Water runoff coming from these farms is full of animal waste, um, it's full of chemicals and antibiotics that these animals are fed. And a lot of the times that runoff um, eventually gets into our bigger bodies of fresh water. And um, fresh water is really valuable, so we can't really afford to be polluting it. Um, so to conclude, you guys have a little bit more background information about why people might choose a vegetarian lifestyle. Um, for one, it's good for your health. Um, it helps fight against animal cruelty. And um, it's good for the environment. So after listening to me rant, <laughs> I hope that you guys will maybe consider vegetarianism as a lifestyle. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Have a good night. <laughs>